Thank you, Secretary, for joining us today. Oh, it is my pleasure to be here. Right, so Secretary for AI and Digital, Dr. Yi um, mm -hmm. we're going to go straight into the questions. So first sure. of all, it's your goal to make South Korea a AI G3 country. Mm -hmm. Now that means that South Korea will be one of the three leading powers in the world in right. the area of artificial intelligence. So uh, how are you planning to achieve this? Yes, uh, to establish South Korea as a global leader in AI, we have a clear plan. First off, we'll develop a comprehensive AI ecosystem. AI ecosystem is composed of several sectors, such as semiconductors like processors and memories, platforms or software frameworks, consumer and industrial products for on-device AI, and AI services and applications. Indeed, South Korea is one of the countries to have a unique ecosystem including all of these sectors. To secure position among the top three global AI leaders, we must elevate several South Korean companies to the forefront of their respective sectors. For instance, SK Hynix and Samsung are currently leaders in the HBM and memory sectors, which are crucial for the AI ecosystem. We aim to foster similar success among other companies and encourage young entrepreneurs to scale their AI ventures, both domestically and internationally. To accelerate these efforts, President Yoon Song Yeol announced the AI and AI Semiconductor Initiative in April 2024, outlining detailed policies and strategic directions to invest in, promote the robust and integrated AI ecosystem across all sectors. Secondly, we are committed to contributing to the global community by advancing sustainable and safe practices. At the AI Seoul Summit, President Yoon introduced three guideline principles, safety, innovation, and inclusivity. Our government is dedicated to playing a leading role on the global stage, sharing the benefits of AI advancements while ensuring that these technologies are developed with humanistic values and inclusiveness at their core. Thirdly, we will foster collaboration between business and government. Effective AI transformation requires strong collaboration between the private sector and government entities. By aligning business interests with public policies, we can drive innovation and implementation more effectively. Lastly, we are establishing the Presidential Committee on AI. To achieve these ambitious goals, we'll launch the Presidential Committee on AI. This committee will be essential for continually developing and defining our policies, ensuring that we remain focused on our strategic objectives and can adapt to evolving challenges. Well, it sounds like you're taking a very holistic approach to developing um, mm -hmm. AI on all fronts, in all fronts in South Korea. And we want to learn more about this National AI Committee that you've mm -hmm. launched here in South Korea. Could you tell us more about that? Sure. Uh, the primary mission of the Presidential Committee on AI is to develop national policies on AI. Now, AI is changing every single thing in our society. And we believe AI technology will make great impact on our daily lives. That's why PCAI is chaired by the present Yoon Song Yeol and comprises distinguished experts from industry and academia, alongside key government ministers. The committee will address a broad spectrum of AI-related policies, like where to allocate resources to achieve significant advancements in AI research and how to cultivate and attract top-tier talent in the field of AI. By leveraging this expertise of its members, the committee aims to guide and enhance South Korea's AI landscape. Well, you're known to be South Korea's top scientist in the field of AI with corporate experience as well. And yeah. what kind of uh, strengths do you think South Korea has in the field of AI and how should such advantages be leveraged? Yes, uh, South Korea has a robust AI industry already with 
several achievements. For instance, South Korea introduced the world's first high bandwidth memory, or HBM, and has established itself as a global leader in semiconductor sector. In addition, Korea was the third country in the world to launch generative AI services with large language models. The country has developed a distinctive AI ecosystem, as I mentioned earlier. Furthermore, its strong manufacturing sector helps quickly integrate AI into products like smartphones, cars, and home appliances. Public interest and enthusiasm for AI in South Korea are exceptionally high. The country leads OECD nations in AI adoption, with 28% of South Koreans engaging with AI technologies, compared to the OECD average of 8%. By leveraging these strengths to advance research and development and business models across various sectors, South Korea is well positioned to compete effectively on the global stage. I see, and with your extensive lab experience and your e experience in companies as well, uh, it's very clear that you're trying to make innovation grow in South Korea re regarding AI. And well, then my question is, how can South Korea's AI technologies and solutions be made compatible for the global mm. market? Uh, despite the relatively small and homogeneous nature of the Korean consumer market, South Korean AI technologies and solutions are well positioned for global success. First off, the Korean government is fostering international collaboration and research in AI. In fact, we have established academic research hubs such as the Global Frontier Lab at NYU. These initiatives are designed to advance AI solutions and services with a global perspective. Furthermore, the Korean government is actively expanding multilateral and bilateral agreements for AI cooperation with the key partners, including the EU, UK, and US. These strategic collaborations enhance our ability to make our solutions work in international markets. I see, and the evolution of AI is a worldwide phenomenon, as you mentioned. So what role can South Korea play in establishing a global AI governance model? Right. Uh, international organizations are actively working to establish new standards for global AI governance. Recognizing the importance of AI transformation, President Yoon Song Yeol introduced a new digital order for global citizens through the New York Initiative in September 2022. Since then, President Yoon has further advanced this vision through promote uh, prominent global engagement, including speeches at the World Economic Forum, Harvard University, Sorbonne University in Paris, and the UN General Assembly. In September 2023, the Korean government developed the President's digital vision, termed the Digital Bill of Rights. Building on this foundation, South Korea successfully hosted the AI Seoul Summit and the AI Global Forum in May, taking a leading role in shaping discussions on global AI governance. At the AI Seoul Summit, South Korea emphasized three critical principles for AI, safety, innovation, and inclusivity. Moving forward, South Korea is committed to expanding its participation and leadership in international organization to effectively contribute to the establishment of a global AI governance framework. I see, and South Korea having issued a digital bill of rights, that's very interesting. Could you elaborate more on that, please? Sure. Uh, we are transitioning into a phase where digital and AI technologies profoundly influence every aspect of our life, often referred to as the age of deepening digitalization. In this context, existing norms are increasingly inadequate to address emerging social issues and complex challenges. Therefore, a new digital order is imperative. In response, the Korean government introduced uh, the master plan 
on the establishment of the new digital order, also known as the Digital Bill of Rights, in September 2023. This initiative emphasizes five core values, freedom, fairness, safety, innovation, and solidarity, with the aim of creating a brighter digital future for all. And your own research has focused on how to make AI better for humanity. And in that regard, how can South Korea uh, utilize AI to improve the quality of life? Under the slogan of AI in everyday life, the Korean government is driving AI transformation to enhance citizens' quality of life and extend the tangible benefits of AI throughout the nation. As part of the AI Daily Life Initiative, the government has allocated 710 billion Korean won to support about 70 projects across various ministries. For example, the government plans to integrate generative AI services into five critical sectors, including legal services and healthcare. These projects are designed to improve efficiency and accessibility, leading to a better life for everyone. So in your view, what is AI for humanity? What role do you hope it will play in the world's future? The advancement of AI presents both great opportunities and significant challenges for humanity. And I believe the future of humankind will be shaped by how we respond to these. We are at a point where we need to maximize the innovative value brought by AI while minimizing its potential side effects and misuse through various efforts. The Korean government will continue to strengthen AI innovation by implementing AI policies such as the AI Semiconductor Initiative to expand the various benefits that AI can offer to humanity. Furthermore, the government will provide support to ensure progress in alignment with the three core values of AI innovation, safety, and inclusion as outlined during the AI Seoul Summit last May. To this end, the government will proactively address emerging issues in the era of AI and digital transformation, working to establish a new digital order. Additionally, the government plans to establish an AI safety research center within the year and will actively pursue the development of AI safety technologies for the safe use of AI. We anticipate that AI will serve as a crucial key to ensuring in an era of shaped prosperity for humanity. Korea will take the lead in establishing a model AI society and will contribute by sharing its achievements with the international community. I see. Well, Secretary for AI and Digital, Dr. Lee Kyung-woo, thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.